Today on Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Solo Stove Pie Prime Pizza Oven. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. And if you've been with our channel very long, you know that we have really enjoyed testing out a ton of Solo Stove products. So when we saw this, the Solo Stove Pie Prime Pizza Oven, we knew it was something we definitely wanted to check out. The folks over at Solo Stove are kind enough to send this over with some accessories to let us try it out. Other than that, Solo Stove does not pay us to do these videos and they don't have any input into what we say. So you can know that these are honest and unbiased. We've been using this for a few months now, so I'm ready to tell you what we think. Let's review this thing. You know the drill, let's cover the facts. The first part is fit. The main thing to consider when thinking about fit for the Pi Prime is, is it gonna fit where you wanna put it? The Pi Prime is 15 and a half inches tall by 20.5 inches in diameter and it weighs right at 30 pounds. So in my opinion, it's a good enough size to be sturdy and get the job done. And it's lightweight enough to carry it around with just one person if you need to. Now, as far as what you can fit in it, the opening is 13 inches long by three and a half inches tall. So basically, if it's more than a 12 inch pizza, if it doesn't fit on this bamboo peel, then it's not gonna fit in there. How do I know that? Well, when we made our first pizza, I made it a little too big. And so whenever I tried to stick it in there, it kind of folded over the edge, which does not work well because then that stuck down to the stone inside. And because of that, it was a little well done, shall we say. For Robbie and me, that 12 inch pizza is an ideal size. We can split it, or if you wanna make them just a little bit smaller, you can make personal pizzas. And so everybody can put the ingredients on it that they like best. Now I will say that if you have a really big family or you're doing a whole lot of entertaining and you wanna make a ton of pizzas at the same time, then this is also not the one for you. But the stone does stay hot pretty well for a while. So you could make multiple pizzas in a short amount of time. So for us, the size of it is perfect for where we wanna keep it as well as what we wanna cook in it. So because of that, I'm gonna to have to give fit a five out of five. Now is the Solo Stove Pie Prime Pizza Oven as advertised. The first thing Solo Stove advertises is that it is simple enough to be your first pizza oven. I'm gonna have to go ahead and agree with that because this is our first pizza oven and we really do feel like it's pretty simple to use. This is the version of the pizza oven Solo Stove makes that is completely propane powered. You just hook it up to your propane tank, turn that gas on, flip that ignition switch, let it heat up and you're ready to go. Per the instructions, you're supposed to let it heat up to about 750 to 800 degrees before you cook your pizza. We've noticed that takes anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes. Now, when it comes to baking your pizza, we are absolutely not experts. As we've come to learn, it takes a lot of practice to do it very well, but we have learned a few things, so I wanna share those with you. First, as I already said, make sure your pizza dough isn't so big that whenever you try to put it in the oven, it folds over. We cheated and used the refrigerated pizza dough in a can, so I just cut that in half, and that was about the perfect size. Second, and I would argue this is the most important thing, you're gonna wanna make sure that there is plenty of flour on the bottom of your pizza. If it's at all sticky, then it's gonna stick to that stone and make it really hard to turn, and then you're gonna end up with those burnt edges like we talked about. And my final tip is to make sure you follow the directions. They recommend that you turn it a few degrees every about 10 seconds. The reason that's important is because the fire is at the back of the oven, so if you leave it in one place too long, then it's gonna burn that side. The other thing Solo Stove advertises is that it's powerful enough to be your last pizza oven because it cooks artisan style pizzas in about 90 seconds. And I would say that part is also true. If you do the math on what we talked about a minute ago, you leave it in place for about 10 seconds, turn it and just go around. It really does take anywhere from one to two minutes to have your pizza ready to eat. Now, before I did this review, I also wanted to see what it would be like to cook other things in this pizza oven. The first thing we made in a grill pan that we have is just some burgers, and they were pretty well amazing. And then we also wanted to try fajitas in our little griddle pan, and those were also quite tasty. So in fact, the pizza oven is not just for pizza. We have really enjoyed using the Pie Prime pizza oven. As far as we can tell, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. So because of that, we're gonna give, as advertised, a five out of five. Now onto construction and durability. The Pie Prime is made of 304 stainless steel, so it should be good and strong and sturdy. And so far, that's definitely what we've seen. And the pizza stone is made from cordierite, which is pretty common, we've learned, for pizza stones in general because it is non-lead and also non-absorbent. It also holds heat really well and is resistant to temperature changes. So if something really cold were to get on it when it's hot, it's much less likely to crack. One design feature I think is pretty smart is that the stone is made of two pieces. So you can pretty easily take it out if you wanna clean it. It's also reversible. So you can flip the stones and use the bottom side if you just wanna switch it up and not always be using one. 
I mentioned earlier, part of what makes this so easy is that it is fully propane powered. The connection for the gas line is just straight out of the back of it. The propane tank is always gonna be below it. So I think it could have been a good idea, maybe a 90 degree elbow that will take some relief off of that gas line. And as it sits on the new solo stove pizza oven cart, it'd be really smart if that 90 degree elbow came out just beyond the edge of that cart. Another area of construction that helps protect the pie prime is it does come with a water resistant cover. They do have a shelter for it made of that kind of acrylic PVC material, but in my opinion, if you're going to include a cover, it'd be a really nice touch to go ahead and include that shelter because most people are going to have it outside. And then one possible potential upgrade to construction might be to include some handles around the bottom of it. It's not super difficult to carry, but it is a little awkward. However, since we have it placed on this cart, carrying it around isn't really something that I need to do. So maybe that's what they were thinking when they didn't include handles. So far, it's held up really well for us. And like all Solo Stove products, it does have a lifetime manufacturer's warranty. So if something happens, they'll make sure and take care of it for you. Overall, the Pie Prime pizza oven seems to be well built. I'm gonna take a little bit off for those few things I mentioned that might just be considerations for future redesigns. So because of that, we're gonna give construction and durability a 4.6 out of five. Before we move on to the next section, I do wanna let you guys know that we have an affiliate link and a coupon code. If you use that link when you purchase is help us out by giving us a small commission at no cost to you. So if it's something you're interested in, just take a look at that below. Now onto testimonials and reviews. Overall, the Pie Prime gets really high reviews. Most people have nothing but good things to say about it, but you know me, I wanna let you know what the complaints people did have. One complaint I saw was that this oven is too small and the pizza burns if you don't turn it. You're not gonna be able to make much more than about a 12 inch pizza. And as far as having to turn it, that's kind of part of it. So just knowing that ahead of time should save you some trouble. Someone else complained that it doesn't handle frozen pizza well. If I'm not mistaken, when I was reading the directions, it said something about not using frozen pizza. Another person complained that the dough sticks to the stone. I've already covered that, but yes, it is gonna stick if you don't have enough flour on the bottom of it. So definitely make sure of that before you go to cooking. Finally, the last complaint was that it does not come with a peel. I can definitely see this complaint. You've already paid for the pizza oven and you're not gonna be able to use it unless you have a peel, a pizza turner. They do sell a starter kit, a bundle, where you can get the pizza oven and some essentials like a turner, the peel, a thermometer, you can also get non-solo stove accessories on Amazon for very reasonably priced as well. So you know I'm gonna tell you the score I found. So for testimonials and reviews, we get a 4.8 out of five. Now finally, should you buy this thing? As always, it depends on what you're looking for. The first thing I would say is if you really want wood-fired pizza, then this might not be ideal for you. So the stove does make one that's powered with wood. So take a look at that one if that's what you're really interested in. Now this is a solo stove product, which if you keep up with them at all, you know that that means this thing is not gonna be cheap. MSRP on it is $349, but I have seen it on sale pretty consistently for right around $299, which is pretty comparable with other propane powered pizza ovens. And as I mentioned, use that coupon code that we have below for 10 more dollars off. Overall, we've been really happy with using this Pie Prime pizza oven. The pizzas are really good. They cook super fast and we loved making those burgers and the fajitas in it too. If outdoor cooking and especially pizza making is something that interests you, I think you'll be really happy with this one. So if that's what you're looking for, I'm going to have to give, should you buy this thing, a 4.9 out of 5. Hey, thanks for watching our Solo Stove Pie Prime review video. While you're here, watch a bunch of other videos. Give us a thumbs up, share us with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. Go to our website, reviewthisingtv.com. Subscribe to our newsletter. Check out our hauler store. Check out our Amazon storefront. Go to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. As always, thanks for watching.